Welcome back to a Gearhead for Life. Today I'm going to go over the AC compressor install on my LS Swap C10 and which direction I decided to go with it, and also a lesson, an important lesson that I learned on a front crossmember support bar. And I'm going to share that with you. Let's go. We've got too much sun out here, so it's blinding the camera, and I can't show you the truck. That's okay because I haven't washed it and it's nasty anyways from all the salt streaks and stuff. So um, what I'm going to start with first is that front cross member support bar I was telling you about. This bar is usually right in front of the engine between the radiator and the engine. A little bit lower though. And uh, I used to think that was there just to hold the brake lines and uh, that uh, what do you call it, proportioning valve there. I never thought much of it. And uh, the one on this truck was bent and cracked. Well, the other day I went to check to troubleshoot to find uh, slack in my steering and I had you know, someone turn the steering wheel so I could look to see what component was worn out and where the play was. So I got under there and watched and that cracked bar that was here, this is the new one obviously, it's been replaced, was bowing up and flexing as the steering wheel turned. All the steering linkage was tight, but this bar was bowing up and flexing and I've got a video of it, I'll show you right here. Alright, so once I found that, I was surprised to see how much, how important that bar is. And I was lucky enough to find this solid one at a salvage yard. The old one, you know, had um, a completely different design. It wasn't solid, it had not holes, but it was more open. I, I don't know, this one just looks stronger. And then uh, after posting this up on my Facebook page, I also learned from uh, someone on there posted that they make a reinforcement bar, usually for 4x4s, that will go over there and bolt to two of the gearbox, I don't know if we can see it from here. They'll go over there and bolt to two of the gearbox bolts and it's like a torque arm. It reaches all the way out to the center of this bar and it bolts to that bar. Uh, I may consider either making one of those or seeing how much they cost, but it looked like a good idea to help reinforce that gearbox. So this bar should help me a lot and take out that, get rid of that slack from, you know, I no longer have the bent and broken cross member there. And uh, I want to make sure y'all realize the importance of it, and hopefully, in case you were uh, underestimating it like I was. Now on to the AC compressor install. I was trying to decide between mounting it up high over here on the head, like I did the Roadmaster, or you know, going with the factory R4, the big old AC compressor that came on the truck, or going with like a vintage air kit, a nice compressor. It was a hard choice. I was actually going to deciding to go with the vintage air because it, the compressor costs the same as the original AC that goes on here. If I bought a brand new one, I wanted to do everything new to make sure this AC worked good. And then um, after thinking about it some more and listening to people's replies on my posts on the Facebook blog page, I just, and the fact that I'd already had a truck compressor and bracket, I decided to go ahead and mount the compressor down there in the stock location. Uh, for a couple reasons. One, not only because it's cheap and it's what I have, but also because it keeps it out of sight. It's down there at the bottom. You don't have to look at it. Uh, the big negative of this though is it's very difficult to get to. See it way down there? It has to come out the front. And it looks like for me to replace this compressor, I'm going to have to remove my headers, take that uh, motor mount bolt out, and roll the engine towards the driver's side out of the motor mount, you know, pick it up on this side to be able to get that compressor out. So hopefully it doesn't go bad too often. Um, also, I still need to notch the frame here. 
either notch the frame or make some 90 degree fittings for the the lines are in here and we'll see how that I'll get an update video once I figure out what I'm gonna do with those lines but that's how it fits the belts on uh, I've got pictures for you to show you what I did I'll show you here shortly but basically I moved I, ex I put an extension on the back of this bar here this plate and moved the mount motor mount backwards 1.75 one and three quarters inch also on my adapter plate I cut it back and also moved those bolt holes an inch and three quarters. It'll make more sense when you see the pictures here. Check them out. An important thing to note, and you might not have been able to see those pictures very well, is that this uh, this bracket here that holds the motor mount had to be notched to make clearance, which I can't show you all very clearly here, had to be notched to make clearance for the AC compressor. I have uh, an evaporator coming and a condenser coming. I'll get those mounted, get the room for the, figure out how I'm gonna run the lines here, get the lines made. I'll have to go to a local shop that makes AC lines. I've got the original fittings. Uh, they'll just have to, you know, I'll measure the length and have them put those fittings on the lines, the length that I need. And that should be about it. Oh yeah, I got a new dryer coming as well. All right, gearheads, that's all that I have for you today. Y'all have a great evening and keep on wrenching. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of my budget building LS projects, tips and tricks, hit the subscribe button below and you'll get a notification as soon as a new video uploads. If you like what I'm doing and you want to see more, hit the like button below so I can keep on producing what you want to see. Y'all have a great weekend, be productive, and keep on wrenching.